Hi students, today we discuss about atom, element, molecule and compound. First, we discuss about uh, atom. Atom, matter is composed of very small tiny particles known as atoms. Atoms are small and we cannot see them even with a high power microscope. That means atoms we cannot be seen with the help of our naked eye and also with the help of microscope. That means they are very too smaller in size. According to Dalton's theory, the atoms cannot be divided. They are the smallest particles in the universe. Later, the further scientist will clarify that the atom is also subdivided into three parts. According to Dalton's theory, atoms neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. But reorganization of atoms takes place. That means we cannot be created or destroyed the atoms. But reorganization that will be takes place during the chemical reaction. Atoms can combine form molecules. That means very smaller size of atoms will combine together to form a larger size of molecules. For example, this aluminum foil is looks very thin in sheet, but it contains atoms in core in number. Atoms are basically building blocks of matter. Nature contains nearly 92 different type of atoms. Next, we discuss about element. When the particle of a substance contains only one type of atoms, that substance is called an element. That means an element containing only one similar type of atoms. Element is basically pure in form. Elements can combine with each other to form molecules via a chemical reaction. Elements are bigger and heavier in size and in mass. We can see with the help of our naked eye, for example, aluminum foil. We have already seen that this is an aluminum foil. This is an example for aluminum element. We can see the elements with the help of our naked eye. The periodic table containing 1 to 118 elements. The starting element is hydrogen with atomic number 1 and the ending element is Oganesan. The atomic number is 118. Next, we discuss about a molecule. A molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms held together by a chemical bonds. That means molecules are neutral in nature. They cannot be containing any type of charges on them. These molecules are again classified into two types. They are homonuclear molecules, heteronuclear molecules. Homonuclear molecules means these molecules are formed with the similar type of elements are combined together. For example, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, Br2, iodine. These are an examples for homonuclear molecules. Next, heteronuclear molecules. The molecules which will be formed by the combination of different type of elements. For example, H2O. This H2O molecule composed with three di different type of atoms. They are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. When one oxygen and two hydrogen elements are combined together to form a water molecule. This water molecule is an example for heteronuclear molecule. Next, we discuss about compound. Any substance consisting of two or more different type of atoms can be termed as compounds. That means different type of atoms will combine together to form a compounds. For example, H2O water molecule, NaCl sodium chloride, NH3 ammonia. These are some examples for compound. Nearly 3,50,000 compounds are present globally surround us. That means in our world which containing nearly 3,50,000 types of compounds. Thank you for watching this video.